Hi everybody, now I'm going to talk about the um, FAST stroke assessment. This is Mr. Ripley, he's going to be my victim. So the F stands for face, so you're going to ask the victim to see if they could smile. Can you smile? <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to be laughing, but he's cracking me up. <laughs> All right, good, thank you very much. So you'll notice if they're having difficulty, one side of the face will droop. Sometimes one side, um, the eye might droop, and the cheek may not move exactly the same way. Um, if they have any symptoms, they'll always be on the same side. So if they couldn't smile on the left side, all the rest of the symptoms would probably be on the left side as well, unless there's something totally different going on. So F stands for face. Can you smile? All right, and then you... Um, Tell them thank you so that they stop smiling. These patients don't necessarily think real clearly, and if you don't tell them they're finished, they might continue to do whatever activity you've asked them to do. All right, next is um, arm weakness. So I'm going to ask the victim, Mr. Ripley in this case, to hold his arms out in front of him. So would you please hold your arms out in front? Good. And you want them to hold them up at the same height, and usually when they start this, they might begin at the same height, and then over time, one side will droop down a little bit. All right, replace your arms. So the left side of his face was drooping, and his left arm was droopy. All right, now, the S stands for speech, so we're going to ask him to repeat a phrase. When you're tasking off with me, think of a different phrase. I don't want to hear the same phrase over and over again. Make it interesting. And if you have a pretend victim, you can just tell me what the answers are, right? Or if you have a victim around the house you can bring with you for your um, task off, that works too. So I'm going to ask him, I'm going to assess his speech, the S. I'm going to ask him to say, the sky is blue. Can you repeat, the sky is blue? The blue is sky. Okay. So obviously that is not how he normally talks. <laughs> and so his speech is affected. And now we need to determine the T, the time. When did these symptoms begin? And so I might say, when did your symptoms begin? When did you start to feel this way? 90 minutes ago. All right. Most victims will not say specifically when. They'll say this morning or um, after lunch, something like that. And you might have to question them a little bit um, as to what time did you have lunch? Was it like this after you woke up? Or did it happen after you watched The Price is Right? Or some other kind of cue. And then you'll call 911 if they have these symptoms or any combination of these symptoms. You'll uh, write down the time that the symptoms began and you'll call 911 with that information. Alrighty.